I hope you'll be able to help the writer of this first letter because he's in deep trouble with his community. He writes, I am a policeman and I'm also black. I have been forced to put down a riot in my city. I don't believe that rioting and thievery can answer any of this country's problems and I've performed my duty willingly. But now I'm looked upon by my neighbors as part of the white establishment that has kept them down. They consider me an Uncle Tom. Well, that's a tough one, but I'd like to just say this. I think you're a real American, and I must confess it's hard for me to put myself in your shoes. Being right on the firing line, as you are, unquestionably, you merit the gratitude of your entire community, regardless of color. That's my opinion, and I think most people would believe so. I would guess, however, that those neighbors who consider you a so-called Uncle Tom simply have not thought through their own logic. Would they have you join the rioters and looters? Would they have you set fire to their homes or their neighbors' homes? No sensitive American can deny that black people merit all the help they can possibly be afforded to join the older minorities in enjoying the prosperity of America. But firing homes and killing does not, in any sense, advance this prospect. Ask your neighbors what kind of America they'd like to see their children brought up in. Then it may be easier for you to point out that what they most deeply want is precisely what you are working to preserve. And I'm sure they want what most Americans want, and that is an America free of fear, with opportunities for all its citizens to better themselves. More power to you. The next question comes from a listener in Vermont. She writes, My children have begun to pick up foul language from the children they play with in the park, and those kids are nothing but little ruffians. How can I tell my children that there are words that should not be used because they are not decent and proper? You've uh, asked two questions, really. On the matter of the little ruffians, I would be absolutely firm. I would insist that they find new playmates, period. On the matter of language, a more subtle approach is called for, a positive approach. I would tell them frankly that four-letter words are never used in the home or before company because they create an impression of shallowness and bad taste. If they do not wish to be regarded as stupid and offensive, they must eliminate stupid and offensive words from their vocabulary. Try that.